Characteristics of living things Living things have a lot of characteristics in common. These characteristics include 1. Nutrition, this is the process by which living organisms obtain and assimilate nutrients. E.g. animals feed on already made food so as to acquire energy and for the purposes of growth. Plants make their own food using light energy, carbon dioxide, water, and chlorophyll through the process of photosynthesis. 2. Respiration This is the process by which food substances are broken down to release energy. Note that, the energy released is used in growth and development, movement, and repair of worn out tissues. Respiration takes place in the mitochondrion. During respiration oxygen is used while energy, carbon dioxide, and water are released. 3. Gaseous exchange, this is the process by which living things exchange oxygen and carbon dioxide across the respiratory surface. Note that animals take in oxygen and release carbon dioxide as a byproduct while plants take in carbon dioxide and release oxygen as a byproduct. Examples of respiratory surfaces upon which oxygen and carbon dioxide are exchanged include a. Lungs in human beings b. Gill filament in fish c. Skin, mouth, and lungs in frogs Four. Excretion, this is the process by which living organisms separate and eliminate wastes from their bodies. Examples of wastes in, humans, sweat, tears, carbon dioxide etc. Plants oxygen, caffeine, tannins, cot, papain etc. Five growth and development growth is the permanent increase in size and mass in living organisms. Development is permanent change in complexity of the structures of living organisms. For example of growth in humans. For example of development of the heart in humans. 6. Reproduction this is the process by which living organisms give rise to offspring of their kind. Importance of reproduction A. Leads to continuation of species B. Avoids extinction, dying out, of certain types of plants and animals 7. Irritability This is the ability of living things to detect and respond to changes in their environments nb these changes are known as stimuli the ability to respond appropriately to the stimuli enables organisms to escape harmful stimuli and obtain resources in their environment examples of stimuli include temperature humidity and light when the temperature is low the human skin has thermal receptors to detect the drop in temperature hence a series of reactions are initiated these reactions are responses to the temperature change and they include Vasoconstriction or narrowing of blood vessels to reduce heat loss. Reduced sweating. Shivering. When the temperature is high the following responses are initiated. Increased sweating so as to cool off the body. Vasodilation slash widening of blood vessels so as to lose the excess heat. 8. Movement This involves change of position of a part of an organism or the whole organism. E.g. plants move by folding their leaves, growing of shoot towards light. N.B. Movement of the whole organism is known as locomotion.